The sign says it all. The pandas are coming. Ever since the three previous panda residents left Washington, D.C. in November last year, there's been a hole in the heart of the National Zoo here in Washington. But now zoo officials are full of pride that the pandas are coming back. Bao Li, a two-year-old male whose parents and grandparents both lived here in D.C., will be joined by Ching Bao, a two-year-old female, under a new 10-year agreement. The Chinese ambassador to the U.S. was at the zoo for the announcement. Today, I'm very glad to share with you some good news. Bao Li and Ching Bao, our new envoys of friendship, will soon fly over the Pacific and join the big family of the National Zoo. And while the two new pandas prepare for their trip from China, they're getting a multi-million dollar upgrade on their enclosure. More construction going on, as you can see, to make the space bigger and allow them to play outside more, weather permitting. Our experts, you know, working with our colleagues in China, really crack the code on giant panda reproduction, understanding how they, pre they pre reproduce and to get them to reproduce. And again, I said, the key to saving an endangered species, you need more of them. The two panda cubs are expected to arrive before the end of the year, part of a promise Chinese President Xi Jinping made last year in San Francisco for a new era of panda conservation and a model for China-US cooperation. If there should be any protectionism, then let us protect biodiversity, protect the only home for the entire humanity, protect a stable, sound, and sustainable Sino-U.S. relations, and protect a better future for the younger generations. The success of China's conservation efforts, augmented by breeding programs here in Washington and around the world, mean the giant panda is no longer labeled an endangered species. Bao Li and Qing Bao's arrival will mean pandas will once again have top billing at America's National Zoo. Nathan King, CGTN, Washington.